Hi guys, I'm Danielle Valiente, hair and makeup artist. When it comes to curls, the bigger and bouncier, the better. This easy to do style is perfect for work, school, or a night on the town. If you would like to learn how to create this look, then please keep watching. To begin, start out with freshly round brushed hair. Here is what you'll need to create the look. For this technique, I like to use a 1 inch thick iron. I'm also using Hot Off The Press, a thermal protecting spray. This will ensure I protect my hair against the heating element. I'm also using a clip to section my hair above the ear on one side. I'm now taking a one inch section and placing my iron horizontally and continuing to wrap the ends around the iron until all of the ends are wrapped. Wait five to 10 seconds and then release. The reason I'm placing the iron horizontally is because it creates more volume at the root area which gives you a bouncier curl. You may notice the tip of the iron is pointing forward towards my face. That will change at certain points throughout the styling depending on what direction I want the curl to go. When all of the hair in that section is curled, let down another row and repeat the process. You may notice now that the tip of the iron is facing towards the back of my head. The reason I'm doing that is because I want the curl when it is released to curl away from the face. When you're curling your hair this way, it works really well if you lift the clamp up on your iron and wrap the hair around the iron with the clamp still lifted. It's going to help prevent any dents from happening on the hair. Now I'm just finishing up this side here before moving on to the other side. And I'm gonna save the top for last. This iron I'm working with is called the turnstile iron. And what I love about it is it has a rotating barrel. So it really helps ease the wrapping of the curl. And what I love is that I can choose to use it the way it's intended or I can use it just like a regular curling iron with a clamp. Okay, now I'll let down the top and continue working both of the sides. I'm going to take the iron to this end here just so that I can get a little more bent. And now I'm just finishing up the top section on both sides remembering to place that iron horizontally and that's really going to give me a lot of lift in that top crown area. Next I'm going to take a rat tail comb and just tease at the root on both sides and in the back of the hair. Okay, now that we've added volume by teasing, I'm going to take my Sheila Stotts brush and rouge at all of the crests of the wig to create a little bit more lift and bounce throughout. If you like a hairspray, go with something light and flexible so you still get that bounce and movement. Let me know what you think about this video by sharing your comments below. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.